Thursday, May 25th, 2023. I feel like I came to the decision today not to go out to, um, not, <clears throat> not to go up to the Adirondacks this weekend. I really was tempted because the weather forecast just looks nicer, warmer, and sunnier. But I mean, those black flies are going to be intense because, you know, it's the real first big warm up of the, of the springtime, and it's been a fairly cold spring. And the thing is that the water temperature is going to be really cold for kayaking or paddling. But uh, the black flies will be intense. And then uh, I just don't think about it. If I leave at 5 o'clock on Friday, we're going to hit a ton of traffic. Amsterdam's going to be a crawl. And then I probably won't get a real good campsite, especially if I want one with cell service where I can work from. Because I'm sure there's going to be work to do this weekend. There's just no way really to get out of work. I'm just sure with the session ending up and committee agendas. I haven't gotten any, well I got one today, but uh, there's going to be probably hundreds if not thousands of bills to go through this weekend, so you can guess what I'll be doing. But uh, my plan still is on Saturday to work on the uh, bicycle, try to get that wheel back together, and then I want to ca uh, hammock camp. I'm actually looking to get a, uh, um, what do you call it, a, a screen to go over the hammock for sleeping, so hopefully I won't get bit too much although I think right now it's mostly black flies and I'm not going up the Adirondacks so just want to be one of the state forests around I haven't totally decided I might go to Rensselaerville State Forest but I don't think we could get that campsite that I like there there's a couple other campsites I could camp at there but um, they're not as well developed as at one campsite and then um, yeah I just don't think I'll be available if I go up there a Friday out of five on Memorial Day weekend but uh, I could definitely hammock camp there, or Coal Hill, or maybe um, what was it Dutch Mills or whatever it is out in uh, Cotton Hill State Forest, or I could even go out to Burnt Ross Mountain. Like, but I don't know if I want to go that far, especially because the following week I might head out of town for that. Um, so yeah, so my plan is to go shopping, grocery shopping tomorrow around. 7.30, 8 o'clock, probably walk first because last week when I went out and picked up the pine bush stuff I went to Walmart and I was very presently surprised that everything was freshly restocked and the uh, produce section was amazing so much good fresh produce they had there, so that's really the time to go there because my Walmart could be very picked over and then I got to check out market, the new Market 32, I've been avoiding it they changed over the price chopper in Glenmont to Market 32 and uh I was very impressed actually with the Market 32 when I was at um, out in Gildan. I used to think it was just a yuppie store, and it kind of is, but uh, you know now that I'm into the, eating the more healthier food, you know I really really appreciate a good vegetable section, a good good produce, and uh, you know because that's the kind of stuff I'm really eating a lot more of, and I you know some of the the more difficult to find stuff they have there. Although sometimes Walmart has stuff that you won't find at uh, uh, that price chopper slash market 32 that's actually quite healthy I think a lot about food these days you haven't noticed I'm really trying to come up with a good balanced diet that's healthy you know lose some weight but not just that just you know eat real adult food you know stuff that actually you can actually grow or you know produce locally at the farmers market um, yeah just kind of good balance I mean I've just really gotten obsessed with all the nutrition things I've actually downloaded the full USDA nutrition database, so I could actually query it and figure out, uh, you know, really detailed statistics on any every ingredient, and every product at the grocery store, and every nutrient fact if I really want to. Although it's a big database and it's a little complicated to put together, and I've only, you know, really scratched the surface on that. I may really have another time, but I mean, it is fantastic. All the you can get literally every nutri every ingredient label at the store and all the nutri nutri nutrition facts without even having to look you know you can you know query it any way you want so yeah I'm thinking about getting a, a uh, bug net for the hammock and then I would probably just camp, camp in the back country be a little bit more hauling gear back and forth but I probably won't be more than a half mile or a mile back so I'm not gonna you know have to store a bear bag or have to worry about cold stuff and I probably, I'm not going to bring the camp stove or the lantern and do all the cooking over fire just because, for one thing, cooking over fire tastes a lot better. And um, I like I like fires, you might know. And um, 
it's uh it is it is healthy i think it's it just get much more flavors than you do over at the gas stove i mean probably the following weekend i'm still thinking about going camping too like a real trip out of town maybe as far as charles baker state forest i think by next weekend i won't be quite as busy with work even though it's still session and then the following weekend i'll probably it's, i told the yeah, i was gonna go to the gas up out in uh, gallopville the big tractor festival um but um yeah, so that'll take up that weekend, and I'll probably be dead tired because I think session's gonna run until Thursday or into Friday. Or, I mean, well, I know it's gonna run to Thursday, but it'll run into Friday or Saturday, the uh, 10th, and I'll probably be pulling late nights. Although, working in the research department, I don't have quite as many late nights as I used to when I was a coordinator, just because I'm not working directly with members, and research projects tend to be a little bit more long term, more nine to five, but. Although I miss not getting all the comp time, I'm not going to have as much vacation time this summer to take off. Although I'll probably be busier at work, but it will just be 9 to 5 all summer. <sighs> Other than that, uh, it was a good day. It was uh, one, one project I was working on this afternoon. It was really, really kind of a sad project, but you know. It was just something that I had to, you know, to review. It was a document that involved a very sad situation with an uh, individual that had a real tragedy in their family, but, you know, sometimes not everything is all happy and good lucky stuff in life, but uh, it's starting to get dark out. Um, I want to do a little more walking and get home. I've been staying up too late. I get home from walking out like 9, 9.15 most nights, and then I have a little snack or something. When I get ready for bed, it's 9.30, and then I'm waking up at 5, 5.30 because the sun's up. And this morning I was actually up, I wanted to get up early because I had to cook beans up and rice because, uh, you know, it needs about two hours to, in many cases to fully cook. And I set the smoke alarm off at 5.40 in the morning, which was not so cool. There was just some burnt stuff on the stove and um, I was actually in my bed kind of nodding off while, while, the, while the beans were, were uh, simmering on the stove. Fortunately, my neighbor's been doing the uh, morning shift, so he was almost on his way out, so I don't think it bothered him too much to hear the alarm go you know, beep, 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 but it happens. I got my beans and rice all cooked and ready for the week, so I'm happy about that. Okay, well, I'm almost at eight minutes now, so and it's getting dark out. I just see a, a deer just ran through the woods. I got to shut this off and uh, get going and head home and get some sleep and... Have a great uh, Thursday and enjoy your Friday too. Weekends, three day weekends, not far away. Don't get eaten alive by the black flies.